Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting a Barbatus Lupus Rex from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. If you check the description box down below you'll find a link to their web store and this link directly helps my YouTube channel so please use the link in the description box below. This tutorial is aimed at the beginner, gumpler, modeler and also a beginner airbrush user We'll be painting all the parts on the runners. Now this isn't the best way to do it guys. The best way is to do it with individual parts off the runners. But this is a quick and simple way of painting a Gumpla kit. As always guys, this is going to be a long video. So go grab yourselves a nice hot drink and maybe a nice ice cold beer and we'll get started. Here I'm separating all the parts into different sections. The ones that are going to be varnished and the ones that are going to be painted. All the dark colored sprues that are colored a dark gray are going to be painted in metallic. And all the light runners are going to be matte varnished, which gives a false effect that they've been painted. So it saves a lot of time. The only dark runner that's not going to be painted in metallic is the runner that's got the mace on it, as you can see in the pile there. Before I matte varnish all the runners, here I'm panel lining. I'm using a Gundam marker that can be picked up very cheaply from Hobby Link Japan or Banzai Hobby. Or if you're in the UK and you don't want to wait for long delivery times, you can get it from Japan Cool. They're about £3 if you get them from the UK at Japan Cool. But you can get these for as little as a pound if you actually bought them uh, directly from Japan. And here you'll see that I'm just going round really simplistically around all the edges of the panels with a pen. The pen's grey in colour and I highly recommend you use a grey marker as opposed to black especially on white. The yellow part I use the grey marker but I highly recommend you pick up a brown marker pen for yellow. I didn't have a brown marker pen so I used the grey but brown would be much better. Panel lining with a marker makes the kit look so much better guys and it's so simple to do. Everybody can panel line a Gumpla kit and it's just a case of following all the grooves and all the cracks and crevices with the marker. Also a thing of note guys is after I've panel lined all the runners that are going to be matte varnished I actually left them for several hours for the ink to dry because if you actually matte varnish the runners straight after you've marked them you run the risk of the marker pen running um, on the sprue or runners if you like also from time to time you'll see me running the part rubbing the parts with my fingers and also maybe using a q-tip this is to remove excess marker pen that i don't want that i've gone over the lines so when the ink is wet it's really easily uh, to remove unwanted marks Here I'm going to be priming the parts that are to be painted metallic in Vallejo polyurethane grey primer. I'm working at 25 psi because the primer is quite a heavy paint and I'm just making sure that I go through all the angles of this runner and making sure that I've got the primer on all areas of the parts. And you'll see that I'm turning the runner around to make sure I catch all the different angles. Here I'm going to be using Vallejo metal colour to start painting the metallics. I highly recommend that you actually paint the runners in black primer which I didn't have or go over the grey primer with a black. It will help 
make the metallics pop a little bit better using a black coat. So uh, in this instance, I painted straight over the gray, but I shouldn't have really, guys. I'm being lazy here, and it would be better to actually paint over either a black primer base or over a black base color. The Vallejo Metal Colour is an absolutely fantastic paint. It's fairly new uh, range of paints and they are super thin and spray out of pretty much any airbrush effortlessly. What you do have to um, be careful of though guys is because it's such a thin and finely um, milled paint that you don't spray it too quickly because you can easily pull the paint on the surface of the model part so what you want to be doing is working at low PSI between 15 and 20 PSI and just ever so slightly pulling back on the trigger and painting in slow smooth passes. Again here you'll see me turn the runner around just to make sure I'm catching all the angles of the parts. After painting all the runners that are due to be painted metallic, I'm coming back in and I'm hand brushing some details. The claws of the Barbatus hands should be yellow in colour and I'm using Games Workshop's Avalon Sunset base colour here to paint the claws. Now when I clip them off the runners I'll be left with tiny little nub marks that I'll touch up later on but for now I find it easier to actually paint the parts on the runner. Now I'm going to be using Games Workshop's base colour Retributor Armour and I'm going to be just adding some gold detail to some of the parts on the frame that will really stand out and pop once built. The paintbrush I'm using here is a new brush that I've just bought by Scale 75 and it's a sable brush and it wasn't cheap and I really don't like it guys. So uh, just thought I'd add here that I'm not a big fan of these new brushes and I still prefer my Winton & Neuter Series 7 brushes.
pistons are being painted in Vallejo Game Air Silver. And here you can see what the Barbatos inner frame looks like fully built with all the details added. I've added the gold, I've added the Avalon Sunset and I've also added Vallejo metal colour gold to the very top chest piece as well and then I added the silver to all the pistons and as you can see the inner frame looks so much better than being flat plastic colour. Also I love the manuals of these new full mechanic kits, they're actually built in such a way that you actually build the inner frame before you put the armour panels on which I think is a really cool uh, idea. Now I'm going to paint the runners using Vallejo acrylic matte varnish. Now this is a fantastic trick guys to make your gumplers look painted. It really does add another level of dimension to the plastic by getting rid of that really reflective shiny cheap looking plastic effect and giving the parts a really nice matte finish. If you don't own an airbrush, there's many manufacturers that actually sell rattle can uh, matte varnish. Mr. Hobby does, Vallejo does, many different companies sell matte varnish in a can. And I highly recommend if you don't airbrush to pick up a can and actually spray your gumpler kits with a matte varnish. It will really make your kits look so much better. Here I'm drawing brushing Vallejo Game Air Chain Mail Silver and I'm just giving the mace some really cool metallic edge effects which is going to make it look more realistic and add a little bit of a, a weathering feel to it. Here I'm using a sponge to add chips to the mace and as you can see those lovely um, metallic chips using the chain mail silver from Vallejo really does add a really cool effect to the mace. Now I'm going to start chipping the Barbatos outer armour using Mechanicum Standard Grey from Games Workshop. I remove most of the paint on some kitchen roll and then I just dab very lightly with a sponge onto the armour and it's going to leave some really nice cool chip effects. And here we have our finished Barbatos Lupus Rex. What a great looking kit this is guys. I absolutely love it. I love the giant mace. I love the outer armor frame. I just love everything about this. Even the wire holding the tail, it just floats perfectly in whichever place you put it. So I highly recommend you picking this kit up guys. And if you're new to Gunpla, Please pick a kit up guys, you'll be so amazed at how cool they are to build and to paint. I also want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. I'm now up to 30 Patreon supporters and I offer great prize support. So please check out my Patreon page and you can see what monthly prizes I give away on my Patreon channel. 
Also, I want to say a thank you again to my YouTube channel sponsors, Goblin Gaming. Please check the link in the description box down below for their web store. And thank you for watching, guys. Please, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Barbatos Loopers Rex. Let me know what you think of the kit. And also, uh, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. So I'll catch you in the next video.